every year here in Snowflake we have what's called our 24th of July celebration or Pioneer Days and uh, it used to be really small it's since gotten pretty big. I think what got me started was my Uncle Keith was in charge of that rodeo and he asked me if I wanted to announce it. As I look back on it now, I think I've been doing it for probably 30 years. My granddad used to announce rodeos. I think it was almost out of uh, necessity or obligation, I don't know what it was, to make the town celebration work. My granddaddy did it, then my dad did it, and, and I used to help my dad a little bit. I think what I really like about announcing is the response of the crowd. I don't know, there's so many facets to announcing. Um, the hard part about announcing really happens before the microphone's even turned on and the rodeo performance starts. And that's doing the homework, getting a, a day sheet ready. When you have a crowd that uh, just really is enjoying the rodeo, you know, we're in the entertainment business. The Cowboys are in the in entertainment business. I'm in the entertainment business announcing. Amy plays the music, she's in the entertainment business. And it's just kind of like when you've got them like right there in the palm of your hand, you almost feel like a rock star because everybody's just responding to what you do, to what the music does, to what the cowboys are doing, what you ask them to do. And I kind of have goosebumps a little bit right now just talking about it, but that's the fun part about announcing is when you have a really good crowd and it's, it's a big rodeo. Man, I used to really love to rope, and I'm not saying I don't like to now, but as I get a little bit older, and in fact, I was just talking about this today with somebody, and they, I said, you know, I talked to a guy years ago, and he said he was done roping, and I thought to myself, I was like 25, and I thought, how do you just get done roping, just be done roping, but at 58, I'm maybe right there, I'm just right there, I still like to rope in my own arena, but I haven't entered roping for several years and I'm okay with that but I think the shift for me is now to ranching I really enjoy ranching we've we've ranched all of our lives my great great grandfather settled this valley that uh, Amy and I live in and that we raised our family in you can see right here behind me I'm, I'm in the midst of a lot of feed the greatest asset that I have was raised in that 1800 square foot house right there that's behind the camera and uh, we had a lot of fun right here. Man, I've got the greatest family. They're so good I should have had like six or eight kids but we only had three. You know when I think about my family I think first off about um, my wife and how good of a woman she is. She puts into our marriage 200%. With Amy and I raising our kids, and it, it wasn't easy, and money was tight, and we made a lot of memories and we had a lot of fun, but that's my family. So three years ago, the YouTube channel was launched. The vlog, our YouTube channel, was really a, a brainchild of my Uncle Keith. He, he had this idea about three years ago that we should start this YouTube channel. And to me it seemed foreign at the time because the deal was you put up all these cool videos and they're free for people. They just go on YouTube and look at them. And we had been in the business of, of selling video footage. And then all of a sudden we're, we're doing it this way. It seems funny now because if I, if I don't have a camera in my hand filming something that we're doing, it's almost like I'm missing something. There's almost uh, hardly any place we go that somebody doesn't recognize us and come up and talk to us. And, and to us, you know, we are the ones that feel like we're blessed by being able to meet them. I think sometimes they, they leave there saying, oh, it was so nice to meet you. But for us, 
we feel the opposite. We feel like it was nice for us to meet them and, and so much appreciate their support um, that they watch, that uh, they keep watching, and that they support what we're doing and appreciate it.